If only there was an ink ribbon somewhere. We can shoot it and have it explode right away, but why would we? Come back in a minute. We might as well put these in order. I just feel like we should do it.
So just in case you are wondering why there was a crimson head in a coffin hanging in the mansion cemetery, that's the reason. Just in case you thought uh, the game was... Uh, too unrealistic otherwise and you needed an explanation because it was totally ruining your immersion. Four knives, huh? Eight four six two. Yeah, let's uh, let's watch this again. Beautiful.
Okay, let's go save, because I don't think we have yet. Um, no, I'm about to fight the chimeras. They're called chimeras. I could be completely wrong, and chimeras could be something different. Uh, not here. This door looks the same. got everywhere.
Mm-hmm. I understand. That's all three. Even after you've basically killed it, it can still take a swipe at you. I like that detail. Because, <laughs> like, the motion's already carried out or something. Oh, the animation is so cool. So satisfying, too. Is that all of them? Because I really want to make sure that it is.
I... I want to fill this up just for fun. I want to use all the kerosene. I don't think there's any more zombies that we got to use it on, though. Let's go check on Jill. And by check on Jill, I mean refuel our uh, canteen for fun. Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. Okay. I'll just assume you knew what I was going to say there. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. We don't need to save. It'll be fine. No running in the halls. You will be punished by exploding. I fell down the stairs. Maybe it was uh, a really bad idea to have like our fuel dispensal system um like a <laughs> a walk away from where we actually need to put it in. 
if someone falls down the stairs, this entire facility is fucked. I mean, it is anyway, but... Stop the recording, I didn't mean to do that. Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. More following is just one word. That's my plan, sir. You literally told her that she was on her own before. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. The stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Don't point oh, at yes, him, dear. that's rude. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. 
He's fine. Come on, you test tube freak. Right through him. He's fine. <laughs> Rebecca. Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Why wasn't Enrico wearing a bulletproof vest? This is definitely one of the creepiest things you've ever seen. <laughs> really? What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Ob observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the Primogenitor Virus. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. But everything is... But now everything is clear to me now. Okay. Uh, the prototype parasite was incubating in the same specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate way word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Though further modification and test through further modification and testing, it was able to derive a method to create the G that surpassed the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings, William Birkin. What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. That I'll line's that not really you, appropriate Rebecca. here. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. How do you know that the virus will be destroyed via an explosion? Did it again. Doesn't matter.
Oh yeah, I forgot about Jill. Probably should have uh, said. <sighs> I told her back about that. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Can't forget about this. Magnum shots when we're up there. Because if we do, it, whatever. Just checked. Uh, the answer is no. We don't. last chance you're the one who fucking abandoned us screw you Self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Oh, up in the helicopter. Really? Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But... Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Rebecca's fine. She didn't even break a rib when she was shot.
you okay? Yeah. about how cool he is. Chris, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Stop telling me what to do, Brad. I'm gonna shoot you with this. like this game um if you ask me if I would prefer the uh like the fixed camera angle style to what we got in re2 I'd probably say yes in concept but the execution in re2 is so good that I like I can't really argue I, I I'm a huge fan of, of what they did for re2 the only thing that I don't like about the remakes, and that's RE2 and RE3, and RE4 especially. Uh, it hasn't come out when I'm recording this, but, um... It, uh... It, it's, it's a lot less campy, and that takes away some of its charm. Um, so that's one downside of the remakes. But with this one, it's not the case at all, because in trying to make it less corny than the original, they actually succeeded in doing the opposite. Well, I mean, it, it is less corny than the original, let's be honest, but, um... But... Uh... This, this does retain the campy charm, and that is one thing that it has against, uh, has, a. Uh, against the, uh, the, the, uh, more modern remakes. And speaking of remakes, uh, the RE2 remake is what we are doing next, if everything goes well. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Chris, you did a fine job. Okay. I'm really powerful. 